Hi, this is a really quick video to show how I bind a home printed book. Yes. It's my book. First, I print the cover page on some cardstock and I take it outside and spray it with a clear coat to keep the ink from rubbing off and let that bring that in, let that dry uh, for a day. And then when I'm ready to glue it, here's my printed book. Put the cardstock on the back and my cover on the front. Go ahead and put some paper down so you don't make a huge mess. <laughs> I don't have a video editor, so I'm just going to try and do this really quickly. Line it up as squarely as you can. And I have five of these really big binder clips from an office supply store. Get that book out of the way, Mama. Get that book out of the way. And you put these on the opening side. Put the story on the bottom. This is a really thin book, so it's going to be pretty easy to do. She's making a video. Look it all on. The glue I use is Elmer's Craft Bond Fabric and Paper Glue. There are probably many different kinds of glues that you could use. It just needs to be flexible when it dries. And I can't get these little caps to work, so forget it. Who needs it? Oh, actually, the last book I did like this was much thicker. So this might make a mess. Kids, could you uh, watch out? I can make a huge mess if I'm not careful. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Brush that in. I just brush it along the, uh, the spine. This is a good time to check. Thanks, Garrett. Uh, make sure you are gluing the correct side. Don't ask me how I learned that one. Whoa. I just kind of put lots of glue on it. And then. Yeah, she does. I do. Then I fold it over, brush the glue in. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to expose some of the edges of all the pages and brush some glue on it. You're, you're gonna get glue on that. I'm hanging it up. Pork chop. I hanged it up hot. Okay, here's now the, next time the fun tricky part. I'm going to video. bend them over the other way. Oh, and now I remember the part I meant to do before I started. But I'll get to that in a minute. Just brush all that in. Good thick coat okay. of glue. Now it's time for Squeaky Video. Garrett. Somebody give me the wax paper, please. Wax paper? What do you want my wax paper? <laughs> sure wish I had a pause it's on this video. Okay, if you're doing a thicker paper. book, it takes, I usually put on a lot more glue, but this is very thin. Okay. It's not going to need it. I just put a real thick, smooth coat on the top. Please don't touch that with the thermometer. Okay, Houston, hold that up for me. Hold it up. Don't let it fall over. I'll be right back. We want to get some wax paper. Some strips like that. I usually do this before I start here. Hold that right there for me, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, and I just crease it. I fold it over about an inch and crease it again. So I can do this. Okay. I can hold oh. it for you. All right. Thank you. Now, remember, we don't smush this down into the glue. We just kind of put this as a protective covering over it. Hold it up nice and square and take one of your binder clips. And clamp it in the middle. And I showed okay. a video of Take that one, thank you. Perfect, and then giant. Okay. Thank Can you. I do them? Sure. And perfect. Oh, here, what? You know, they're really hard to squeeze. Let me just put that on here. It's falling apart. The video is not the They're big, the hard. Hey, they're big, huge clips. Here, sit up. I need, I need to do Okay, it. all five clips, and then I just sit. This. They're big, huge. They're big, huge clips. Yes, they're is. big, huge clips, okay. and they're great. Good. 
just lay this down till tomorrow and I'll come back with another video to show you what to do after that. I let the book dry an extra day and it's all dry. The book's ready to go. If you want to get really fancy, I suppose you can trim off some of these big chunks of glue. But that's good enough for me. Okay, now I got some cloth binding tape off the internet. I thought it was rather expensive, but it's a huge roll and it looks like it's going to last me a while. I think this is about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. I would have gone two inches if I had this to do over. And, oh, how do I do this? First I cut, I just try and cut a straight edge. without cutting myself. Nothing too precise. Okay, and I just line it up. Stretch it a little bit. Press it down really good. Pull up on it a little bit, stretch it tightly across the spine, and press it down on the other side. Did I did I mention this is not perfect?